Hi guys, this is lesson number 67 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful employee ID card using few simple and easy steps. In our previous lesson, we learned about standard ID card sizes and their uses. And here we took one of them, CR80. This ID card we are going to design. If I will click on my page, you can see the size is A4. It is not really necessary to customize the page size according to the ID card size. The reason behind is because most of the time companies not sending ID card jobs to the printing press. Since each and every ID is having unique and individual detail such as picture, name, job position, ID card number, joint date, expired date, everything is different. In the printing press they are printing in quantity. Let's say a company have employee 50 or 30 but in the printing press they will accept the job in thousands. So it is a good idea to print the ID card from the office printer. For this reason it is not really necessary to change the page size. We will leave our page size A4 because vast majority of the printer accepting A4 that using the home or office printer. So the first thing you need to check the measurement units. You need to keep in inches and create simple rectangular shape. And here we can give the width and height 2.125 by 3.375 and hit enter. So this is how we get the size. Now let's prepare the design that is uh, simple. In lower portion we have one box and then we have a curved design and there is a three strips. Press plus key from the keyboard to duplicate this object and just stretch it down right click here to remove the outline and you can fill your desired color. Press plus key once again. Middle portion here we have curve you can right click and click convert to curve. Then click on shape tool and double click on this point. So one point is deleted. Now click in the middle and simply click on convert to curve. So here we have directional handles. Using these directional handles you can reshape this way. So here we have a shape. Let's reduce the transparency of this object. While it is selected click on transparency tool uniform transparency. Click it. So automatically it is 50% if you want to increase or reduce you can change the number but for now it is ok. Press plus key once again to duplicate and in the same place we will mirror horizontally. So this is how we get the nice curve from the other side. Select the lower shape, press plus key. We have another copy. Bring it up, press shift key to align vertically and we can reduce the size. Simply press plus key once again. We will repeat. So here we have three strips. Now let's create circular shape for the picture. Press control key. And we are going to increase the outline. Right click to change the outline color. And here we have size. Okay, that is more than enough. Now we are going to import the picture. Click on file, import and here I have a sample. I can use this. You can use the employee picture. Import. Match the size and simply clip this image inside the circle. While it is selected, go to object power clip place inside frame. Now here we have a logo. I have a sample logo I can add here. And there is a text. I will just copy since it is a simple control home or you can click on object order to front of the page. Now if the picture and logo you want to center 
you need to select the main shape press shift key and select the logo and the image press C from the keyboard to align horizontally even the name and job position we can also align in the center select it press shift key and select this shape and press C so that is centered here we have other side since it is two-sided ID card let's copy the basic rectangular shape we can duplicate object by pressing plus key but there is another way you can align perfectly to the right side just bring the mouse to this transform point press control key click and drag to the other side and while you are holding the left side your mouse right click so at the same time it's mirrored and copied press plus key to duplicate that shapes mirror vertically make sure the snap control is active view snap to object and just snap it from the bottom corner here we have another small rectangular shape in this panel we will use for join date and expire date so let's duplicate this object okay that's fine now here we have a logo also you can copy simply I resize the logo press shift key and select this object press C to align center horizontally and reduce the transparency we can increase here that's all now we can copy the text this how easy it is and our two-sided ID card is ready since our page is a4 you can directly print from the coral draw on a4 paper any standard ID card size you can give to your card but if you purchased already your ID card holder it is good idea to check the size in the ID card holder this way horizontally and this way vertically inside and use millimeter or centimeter that is having small increment to precise more after printing this ID card you can cut it from edge to edge and then fold it from the middle to set inside ID card holder let's apply some light color to the border and here our text it is under the shape we can select you can also use shortcut control home or you can go to the object order to front of the page this how we created simple attractive and beautiful ID card in the next lesson we will be learning how to print this ID card with the perfect size from Microsoft Word let's say you design this ID card in Corel Draw and you need to send to your colleague and he or she is not having Corel Draw in his computer. So how to prepare the file to print from Microsoft Word perfectly? That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.